Goosebumps. It is you. This is season five with Newport County. Yes, we are finally underway for season five. The wait is no longer here. The drama is going to unfold. And this episode, we have got some of the biggest signings ever in Newport's history and probably ever in their history are joining the site today. I want to show you this as well. We've got a very hefty budget. But there are players coming in this episode. But what I want you to do right now is comment below for me. Let me know who you think we need to sign in this season of Newport County. And you would have seen at the very start as well, this is the final season with Newport. Once we are done with season five, whatever the outcome we will be leaving Newport County. That'll be the final season with Newport. Whether we go to a different side or whether the save is done completely, we will go from there in the near future. But you can see there are a lot of players coming in. Watson, one of them. We've brought in Clover, Oblak, a brand new centre-back. We've got a brand new right-back. Madison is also in the side. So we have improved the side drastically, especially that starting eleven. Of course, one of the biggest issues we had last season was the defence, which we have addressed now with three new players, including the goalkeeper. Of course, Russell dropped down to the bench, and uh, we have got our second side as well, which is currently on the screen right now, So, because we are changing out up quite a bit, trying to create a first team, a second team, and a youth side, which is our main objective for this season, as well as winning everything. Because one of the things, as you see there, when I mentioned it, winning everything is priority this season because so that meaning we need the depth to actually accommodate that so one of the biggest issues we've had is the fact that we've had to play the same team essentially week after week and they are tired players and even when we try to switch players out they're just not good enough but right now that's what we are trying to achieve but uh, one of the players we are looking to bring in is Timo Werner He's going to cost us around 60 to 70 million pounds. We've got around 80. One of the Suarez that we brought in on a free is one of the best strikers I've ever signed in this club. But we are looking to bring in potentially Martinez, Sterling, Odegaard, Rashford, potentially another option for us. Uh, Wilcock, um, another player. We are looking to potentially bring in Bellerin, potentially down that right-hand side, even though we have signed a new right-back this season. Of course, Lots of options here. We are up in the big money area now. That's the best way to actually put it. This is the current side that we do have. I'm going to be putting a lot of youth players out on loan. Even though I would love to have a youth side, I still want to make sure my youth players are developing. So anyone that isn't featuring in that youth team, not part of that starting 11, will be put on the loan list. Well, will be loaned out, but everyone's going to be going on the loan list either way, which is a big, big thing for us. So I think I want to try and get them out, let them improve. Because we have loaned out a few players, a few youth players who are doing really well out on loan at the moment. So we want to, hopefully they'll improve and we can potentially utilise them before the end of the season um, in a few League Cup games. Because that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of like doing it traditionally. Like So when you are playing the early rounds of the FA Cup, the League Cup, or any other tournaments that we are considering using 
the youth side or the secondary side. Um, because the way I'm seeing it this year, we're going to have the first team, which is going to feature in Champions League football, going to feature in the Premier League, and then the occasional cup game. Very rarely. But then what we're hoping to have is to have a reserve side, which will potentially play all FA Cup games, all League Cup games or, or tournament matches, and occasionally come into a Premier League game, depending on how the fitness is. So, for example, the first team might have played a game on Saturday in the Prem, played on Wednesday then in the Champions League, but then couldn't play again on the Saturday. So we whip out the second side. So we are looking at that opportunity there. So that's one of the reasons we brought in a lot of depth. And, of course, adding to that depth is another striker. Timo Werner was one of them, and we are looking to potentially sign him this episode. And we did bring in Lewandowski recently, and I have voiced my opinion on how I regret that. I wish I didn't, but guess what, guys? We did, and we're going to have to stick with our decision now. But anyway, we are going in for another striker, one of the biggest name strikers in the world right now. Currently just joined Chelsea. It is Timo Werner. We are signing him from Valencia. Um, and at the minute, he is worth around 40 plus million pounds. But in all fairness, when you go to the negotiations, it's going to be possibly an extra 20 odd million on top. So I am trying to sit my budget too low because I'm thinking that potentially we can bring in another player alongside Timo Werner. I don't particularly want to be Timo Werner, be the only player that we bring in. I want to think, hey, we got someone else to take a look at. You know what I mean? So. Timo Werner, we sign 60 million plus pounds. We bring him into the side for, which is an incredible budget that we've just splashed out there. The biggest amount of money we have ever, ever, I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, ever spent on a single player. But let's have a look at that wage. He's, well, apparently his wage is only 60 grand, which is substantially lower than what he currently is on. And of course, one of the lower paychecks in our new sign-ins. With the likes of Old Black on 100 plus K. Our centre back on, I think he's on around 90. But he wanted 61. We accepted that 61 grand offer. Meaning that we have a brand new striker. For some reason, that Lazio badge is still an issue. I don't understand why. Well done, EA, for making another mistake. But Timo Werner's part of the side. Part of the side as well is uh, Ewan Davis. Ewan Davis playing our central defensive midfielder role. Brand new partner this year with James Madison. Of course, he's going to be in the starting 11 because we've changed the side up quite a bit. Um, Sean Davis. Uh, Sean Davis out on the left. Ewan Davis and uh, Connor Bennett in the middle with uh, Madison now joining them. But as I mentioned, I'm gutted about Lewandowski coming into the side. Wish I didn't really sell it. Uh, wish I didn't sign him because he saved a lot of money there on the wage. But guys. Lots of changes happened to this side, this episode. Next episode, we're going to be jumping into some games, and I cannot wait to share it with you. But anyway, guys, my name is Galazio. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, guess what? I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.